I guess this was one of the places where they modeled New York Minute for Mario Kart from. I wouldn't want to be in there. Now it's time to visit the only good thing about New York City. Nintendo NYC. Let's go inside. Uh, I can already feel the magic. Oh cool, this is actually 3D. I wanted to come here because I wanted to see if they redesigned anything because I haven't been here since 2020. Mario is everywhere. Oh, here's the dollar store section with the games that nobody wants. Um, I thought this was a Nintendo store. Nah, I'm good. I need that. Aww. Huh, I don't think I've ever seen this plush before. Looks pretty cool. I definitely might have to get one of these Builder Mario plushes, because I've never really seen these before. Or those. Ah, uh, yes, the best part of the store, the charging station. And to this day, I still don't know why anyone would want to climb, touch, or sit on him. I didn't know people had those kind of feelings. Oh, look, my Nintendo bottle. What's it doing here? I would, but I can't. Alright, I think I've pretty much seen everything I wanted to see on the first floor, so let's go to the second floor. I guess they really want people to know that Mario is the face of Nintendo because he's plastered almost everywhere in this place. Kirby! Oh, I've always wanted one of these. But I already have these. Eh. All right, I'm getting DDD and Meta Knight. Again, why would anyone want to sit, touch, or climb on him? I wish I could find out what was over there in that back room. Ah, uh, yes. Ugh, do I have to say it again? Oh, they're playing Kirby. I wouldn't want to interrupt them. Ugh, every time I look at this, it just makes me really want a Nintendo 64 and a GameCube. I guess this is where they would have you talk to Mario if he was on the TV. When are they going to bring those back? This is where the nerds come to watch the Nintendo Directs at. And yes, I'm one of them. I didn't know Pikachu was the Statue of Liberty. Yes, who wouldn't want to buy this plush? And it's only $17.99. 
All right, I think I've pretty much seen everything I wanted to see here. I've always wanted to use this elevator. Back on the first floor. In the Nintendo store. So they keep the Mario plushes on the first floor, but they keep all the other Nintendo character plushes on the second floor. That's weird. I don't even think that was a cart you can choose in Mario Kart 8. Ah yes, back when Nintendo had exclusives. And should probably never do that again. Yes. <laughs> All right, we out. So long, Nintendo Store. See you soon. Uh, another fantastic day at Nintendo NY. Let's see what I bought. Even though you guys probably already know, but let's do it anyway. Alright everyone, so to end off this video, we're going to be doing a quick haul check of the stuff that I bought from Nintendo NY. Yeah, I gotta say, I didn't really expect to buy a whole lot of things. I mean, these aren't really a lot, but I didn't really expect to buy more than one thing at least. I can say that with confidence. All right, so let's just take a quick look at some of the stuff that I bought from Nintendo NY. First, let's take a look at the bag. Can't you see a really confident face there? Oh, great, now I have two Link bags that I have no use for. All right, so actually now let's get started. All right, so the first thing we got here is Builder Mario plush from the Super Mario Maker games. Okay, you guys have no idea how long I've waited to get this plush. I've wanted it for so long because I just love how they always make like Mario wear different costumes and just make put him as like a plush or something like that. I just really love the way this plush is designed. Very accurate to Builder Mario from Mario Maker. And yeah, I didn't buy Flying Squirrel Mario because yeah, I didn't want to spend like a lot of money because I just wanted to buy probably the most essential things, but I can probably buy the Flying Squirrel Mario plush off of eBay, but this plush, it was actually really hard to find for me because when I tried to find it, they would always like be on eBay and Amazon, but they would be way, they would cost way more than necessary. And for some odd reason, they didn't sell the Dr. Mario plush. If you didn't know, recently they made a Dr. Mario plush, and I really want that plush, but I didn't see it at the Nintendo store for some weird reason. And maybe one day I'll get my hands on it, but for now, I'll just have to deal with this awesome Mario Maker plush, because, yeah, it just looks really, really cool. Got the builder hat on, the tool belt, yellow shirt, red overalls. This plush, you, you can't go wrong with it. It just looks awesome. I love it. They also made a Builder Luigi plush, but I didn't see that in Nintendo NY for some weird reason. Like, y'all are seriously gonna have Builder Mario, but not Builder Luigi? Like, seriously, give Luigi the respect he deserves. And yeah, I think I'm gonna take off this tag as well. Alright, so that was the first item I got, Builder Mario, so now let's take a look at the other stuff I bought. Alright, so let's see what else we got in here, and... Ah, look at this, it's Meta Knight. Definitely one of the best Kirby characters of all time. I just really can't believe it's taken me this long to get a plush of Meta Knight because he's just one of my favorite Kirby characters and I've never been able to find a plush of him. They were just always sold out everywhere. But luckily Nintendo NY had my back. 
and for some reason his tag is in Japanese writing. But I guess it makes sense since of course Mario, Kirby, and all these other characters were of course made by Nintendo in Japan. Yeah, but either way I'm just very happy to have Meta Knight in my plush collection. I mean, just look at him, you just cannot tell me he's not a great character. I kinda wish they had him holding the sword though. I mean, you can see the sword in his pocket right there, but it would have been better if they had him actually holding the sword, like the Galaxia sword or his normal sword, whatever it was. And luckily, this wasn't the only Kirby plush that I've gotten at Nintendo NY. I actually got another Kirby plush at Nintendo NY, and it's definitely a really awesome one. It's one of the best Kirby characters of all time. And probably one of the main ones as well. I think y'all can already guess who it is. It's none other than... King DDD! Another plush that I've wanted for so long and now it's finally in my hand. King DDD is also another one of my favorite Kirby characters. He actually used to be the main villain of the Kirby series. But over the years, him and Meta Knight actually have gotten more close with Kirby and now they're all good friends. Except in the Kirby Right Back At Ya anime show because he just straight up wanted to annihilate Kirby. And if there's any character in the Kirby franchise that deserved a plush, it's of course DDD. And aw oh man, this is just definitely one of the best Nintendo plushes I've ever gotten. And yeah, for the King of Dreamland, or so he says, he certainly makes a really great plush. But yeah, same issue with Meta Knight, I kinda wish they had him holding his hammer. Although I'm pretty sure they did make a plush of him actually holding the hammer and it was based off of his appearance in Kirby Right Back At You, I believe. And I believe they also made a plush of Meta Knight holding his Galactia sword. And yeah, I would have loved to own those two plushes, but yeah, these two are still great either way. And just like Meta Knight's tag, DDD's tag also seems to be in Japanese. And of course I already have a Kirby plush, so now these three totally fit well together. I wish they made a Bandana Waddle Dee plush though. Hopefully they'll make one of him soon. But yeah everyone, these were the three items that I bought at Nintendo NY, and yeah, I say I made a decent purchase. Because y'all know me, I'm a collector guy, and I just love to collect action figures and plushes, especially of Nintendo characters. So yep, totally glad to have these three in my collection now. And yeah, every time I go to the Nintendo store in NY, I just love going there because... But yeah, every time I go there to the Nintendo store, I just... Re... But yeah, I just really love going to the Nintendo store because every time I go there, it just feels like I'm going to a really magical place. Well, it is magical, let's be honest. And yeah, if you haven't gone there, do yourself a favor and go there now, and because you'll d definitely not regret it. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today, so thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and let me know if you guys have ever gone to Nintendo NY, and yeah, it's just a really fantastic place to go to. So yeah, everyone, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.